yep. hanging out here in Oswego today with a guy we know pretty well. And, of course, if you're up here uh, in the area around the Speedway, you know Garofalo's importing very well here at 155 East Bridge Street. This is the second or third generation? Third. Third generation. Yep. Joe Garofalo Jr. with us right now. Of course, he is a mod light driver at Bruden, finished fourth in the points last year, picked up his last win back in 2022. He has right around 20 wins in the division. This also includes the time in the dwarf car divisions. He's been in racing for 25 years. Actually, his son Nicholas started this past season as well, so they are a racing family. First of all, how is everything? Everything's good. How are things at Garofalo's? We're going to get some subs here in a little bit. How are things looking? We're okay right now. You know, winter time is usually our, our slower time, so... You know, we're just getting through. Okay. Best homemade sausage around. Of course, they ground up the ground beef for you. Yep. It's like turning back in time to the 60s when Try you come to. here. So, But that's what we're all about, right? right. Yep. The personalized yep. service. And, of course, you guys coming to Oswego, they're right down the road, but not even a mile, I would think, uh, west of the speedways. So yeah. Come on down, load up your coolers, load up your RVs, get yourself ready to camp. So how was this past season? It was all right. You know, it, it started out pretty good. We kind of tried, tried getting a little bit better and then uh, – just couldn't get over that hump. I think Kyle and a couple other guys were real fast this year, and we were just playing catch up all year. Where were they better than you on the track? Uh, probably center out. Mm -hmm. well, that's yeah. the name of the game nowadays, right? Right. right. So, yeah. Okay. Well, you tell me, we may be fixing that. We've got a new car coming. We, we're hoping we do. Yeah. Oh, hoping we don't we, know for sure. We don't know when. We'll have it. We just okay. don't know when. And Art Halliday, of course, yep, one of the Art's smarter guys in this, yep. in this division. So, what is? What makes you think this new car will be better? Is it just simply that it's that it's a new car, or are we trying some different things? And tell I, me what I you're like some of the things that are on that car, um, and the newer newer car, newer stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I built the last car. We're allowed some newer things, and I just don't have time to build the cars right now. So okay. talk to Art, and he's going to do it up. Well, what's the biggest difference then, if you had to sum it up between that new car or something that's five to ten years old? I, it's, right now, we're allowed to make uh, round tube, full round tube chassis. Our older cars had to have box tubing at the bottom. Okay. So I think the chassis flexes more with the round oh. tubing. It will flex more. And uh, understanding that, I think, and knowing where the flex points are is a big thing with ours. Okay. All right. And uh, you and I were talking. I didn't realize this. They call it a mod light. But, of course, I've been doing a lot of things with the Supers lately, and I know that if we wreck the front, we need suspension parts, A-frames, things of that nature. This is not like a modified. You can't go down to Scott Jeffrey's Performance and just get everything you need, can you? No. and You know, each manufacturer pretty much has its own parts for its own cars. There's a few things. The bars are bars. You might be able to find them the right mm -hmm. lengths off other people, but a lot of them make their own spindles for the cars, um, other parts for the car. You know, sometimes you got to make your own stuff. Has it always been that way? Yeah, there's there's more i guess more car companies now than there has been um but before there was like pro chassis was like your main one i remember that and they were kind of like that that almost everybody was running them for a long time but now there's several different guys out there doing stuff and they're all they're all the same but different so back then we could get spindles and and, and control a lot more people had yeah because everybody kind of would stuff. have almost the same spindle and you could mm -hmm. run through the pits and grab it now if somebody busts up a spindle you got to know somebody that's running the same car or make as you to go get a spindle. Of course, radius rods of various lengths are easy enough to find, yeah, right? Yeah, yep. Okay, so that stuff's all that the same. That stuff is the same, right. But if you want an upper A-arm or something like that or a lower A-frame even, if you don't, you don't have the right car manufacturer, it's going to be kind of hard to find it from somebody. Can you? Are you handy enough to make that stuff yourself? Yeah, I can make all the parts. Okay, they're actually fixing a bandsaw in here right now too. Yep, so yep. I had no idea that you had to be that handy. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot business. of machines in here. We take everything apart and got to fix it all. So okay, and quick change rear ends. Yep. Um, and you mentioned something that because uh, I, I was talking to you about the modified big gear on top. You said not always the same uh, with you guys, huh? Right. We we can flop the gears over. So each gear set is really two sets of gears, mm -hmm. unless you get gear set one, which is same top and bottom. Okay. Do so, we change gears a lot? Track to track, we do. Some nights, if the track is really heavy or really slick, guys will change gears. And, and you know, if you want to do that, if you're going to run the top or the bottom, you might change gears. Okay. But typically, you don't really change them a lot at one track. But if you go to Fulton, we got to change them. Right. Yeah, it's a 3 8 mile versus a yep. third. Right. And it's a momentum track versus the stop and go track, track yep. at Brewerton. So, okay. How is the division right now? I think we're okay right now. Towards the end of last year, we were really strong. We yeah. Had, we had a good amount of cars. I think we're 18, 20 cars weekly okay. towards the end. And we were one of the, the, the I, I, bigger groups, I guess, at the track towards the end of the year. Okay. And I, I think most everybody's coming back. Um, I don't know if everybody's going to race weekly that we have. So we might have nights again where you got 12, 14 cars. You might have 20 cars. We just okay. don't know who's going to show up when, when. Well, they are their own unique animal, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like, like I said, uh, 
they're not the easiest thing to jump in and drive. Right. Yeah, twitchy. And what would you say about the throttle? Got about a quarter inch to throw. So when you're real slick at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah you got to be, be tough, real huh? good on the pedal. Okay. Your son started this yep. past year. How old is he? He's 18 now. Okay. Uh, just finished 10th in points. Uh, ninth was his best run. He said he was almost a little disappointed. He was a little he didn't disappointed because I think he thought he could just jump in and do better. Yeah, win a heat and right. Yeah, I think he, he thought he'd be competitive, and he didn't realize that it just takes time. And mm -hmm. you know, I was proud of him. I thought he did very well. Mm -hmm. um, we brought the car home wrecked one night. I think that was oh, it. Really? Yeah, just one time. And uh, you know, it's not easy jumping in and just he, he never really raced anything before. So jumping into something where it has a lot of power to weight ratio and it um, does. Yeah, and yeah. It, you know these things are. They're their own th animal, really, you know. Yeah. So you gotta gotta kind of learn to drive and learn to drive. Yeah. Are you running better lap times than the sportsman? We're about the same, I about believe. About the same. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember sometimes at Weedsport. Yeah. You guys would be pretty close to the mods. Yeah. On some nights. I think we're like a, a second off the, the big blocks at Brewerton, and mm -hmm. we're real. Sometimes we're quicker than the sportsman. Sometimes we're about the same speed. Sometimes a little slower. Okay. Depends on how the track is. Okay. Um, as far as other things about the cars, um, I want to make sure we stress this. They, they call them mod lights, but let's be honest, there's so there's absolutely nothing we can buy outside of radius rods? Um, we can buy hubs, I guess. You can get stuff from Winners. Winners makes the rear ends. Okay. Um, so you can buy the hubs and stuff from Winners. There's a lot of parts, like brakes, the, Bicknell, or, uh, the brake calipers, stuff like that. You can mm -hmm. buy shocks. But uh, as far as the bolt-on stuff after you get it, a lot of it has to be fabricated. You can order it from your manufacturer, the car okay. manufacturer. But... Uh, not a lot of guys will have the same cars throughout the pits, so, you know, a lot of stuff does have to be made specific for you by either your car manufacturer or if you can make it yourself. What about the bodies? Those are not universal either, are they? No, no. So every one is its own yep. somewhat unique thing? Yep. Okay. So rub rails and that kind of stuff are in different positions? Yeah, so yep. So where you position the radiator in the back, all that stuff right. is different? Yep. It must be fun to be part of something that is 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 its own unique thing. It's it's you know it has its, its ups and downs again because mm -hmm. sometimes you want to be able to just go and buy something off the wall. True. If you don't have a lot of time, if you, you wreck the car on a Friday and you want to go race on a Saturday, you don't have parts made. Yeah. You can't just go buy them and put them on. That's true. You might have to miss a week even. Yeah. At if that you, point if you can't you. get stuff made up. Okay. So what's selling right now? What's the hot stuff right now this time of year? I'm just curious. Right now, it's it's probably just subs. There's not a lot okay. of grilling going on because of the weather. That's true. You know, so it, we still will sell hamburger, sausage, stuff like that. Okay. But the subs usually through this time. You know, we got the college kids back, mm -hmm. so they'll they'll hit Lots those up. Yeah, they'll there hit them go. up pretty good. We're getting some right after this too, so I know what I'm getting. I'm getting the Italian with some pepperoncinis on there, and then I have myself. <laughs> so man, again, make sure to stop by here, 155 East Bridge Street. Joe's been helping us out on this channel for quite some time. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to turn the like on, turn the notifications, and if you have a comment, maybe be on something we've done or you want us to do something else down the road just make sure you do that joe as always thanks right, for thanks, having us Doc. over good job thanks